Whose reports would you believe? Believe in Jesus, son of a living God. His word is ever true. time that God has given to us that we may continue sharing the word of God from where we, we left. I know it has been uh, quite a while since we, we had a, a time together to share the word of God and uh, I just want to say that God has been faithful all this time and uh, for those who have uh, missed this uh, program I want to sincerely apologize that uh, for sometimes we could not have uh, time together to share the word of God. But uh, this time I want to share the word of God. And uh, our topic today is let God be true. Uh, and uh, this uh, word is found in the book of Romans chapter 3 and, verse and four. verses. Three. And the Bible says like this, for what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief make the faithfulness of God without effect? Certainly not. Indeed, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that you may be justified in your words and may overcome when you are judged. The Bible says, what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief change the faithfulness of God? Certainly not. Let God be true. The Bible is saying, let God be true. No, when the Bible says, let God be true, the Bible is saying, Allow God to be true in your life. Acknowledge God to be true. Accept God to be true. You know, when the Bible says, let God be true, it is telling you, let God be true. Accept God to be true in your life. Acknowledge God to be true. You know, it, it says, uh, 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 allow, accept, acknowledge let God be true in your life. No, when the Bible says this word, it means you can make a choice. You can choose not to make God true. You can choose not to allow God to be true. You can choose to assume God. You know, there, there, there are two aspects in, in, in a human life. You know, there is, there, there is the, the, the spirit of God that is inside man and there is the heart of man the desires of man, and the flesh of man. So a person may either be guided by God or a person may be guided by the desires of the flesh. So in this aspect, there's a free choice. You can choose. You can choose to, 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 to let God be true or you can choose to just follow your own self. You can choose just to, to guide your own self. You can choose just to, to lead your own self by your own desires, by your own experience, by your own thought, by your own knowledge, by your own understanding. You can choose. You can choose to follow your own understanding. You can choose to follow your own experience. You can choose to follow your own knowledge. Indeed, even the book of Proverbs, it says that uh, trust God with all your heart and lean not in your own understanding. You know, people can choose to lean on their own understanding and people can choose to trust God. People can choose to let God be true. People can choose to acknowledge God. People can choose to establish God in their life. It is a choice that you need to make. Let God be true. So the reason why the Bible says let God be true is because every man is a liar. Every man is a liar. But if we ask each and every one today, are you a liar? Someone will never accept that they are liars. Someone will never accept they are liars. Are you a liar? I know I am not a liar. I, I, I may have lied one or two times, but I am not a liar. Oh, brother, are you a liar? I am not a liar. Oh, sister, are you a liar? I am not a liar. I may have lied one or two times, but I am not a liar. I am a true person. Many people, they have this kind of a thought. Many people, they have this kind of a mind. How oh, we are true people. You know, when you read the Bible, there's a story where Jesus, he entered into one boat 
And then when he entered into one boat, the fishermen had gone out of the boat and they were cleaning their nets. Because the whole night they had toiled in the, at, 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 the, at the lake, the fish, but they could not find the fish. One of these fishermen was Peter. So when Jesus entered into that boat, these people had toiled the whole night. These people were struggling to find fish, but they could not find fish. You know, Peter and this group were not, were not two times fishermen. These were fishermen with great experience. So they knew how they could navigate around the sea. They knew how they could navigate around the lake and they could find fish. But the whole night they could not find fish. The whole night they toiled, they could not find fish. So at the morning when Jesus is coming, when Jesus entered inside their boat, at that time they were cleaning their nets. They were cleaning their nets because they had, got, they had gotten nothing. But when Jesus entered, Jesus said to them, I launch your net, launch your net, and go for a catch. You know, this does not make sense to an experienced fisherman like Peter. Because this morning, we've told the whole night, how can you say that this morning we are going to find the fish? You know, fishermen, they know why they have to fish at night. But when you're telling a fisherman to go fishing during the morning time, it doesn't make sense. More than anything else, they have tried the whole night. Then Peter said, ah, Master, we toiled the whole night and we could not catch nothing. We could not catch anything. We came back with nothing. But there's a wise, there's a wise word that Peter, he said, Ah, Master, we toiled the whole night, we could not catch anything. But at your word, but at your word, we will let you be, be true. Although we have the truth that we could not find fish the whole night. But because of your word, we will let you to be true. We will allow you to be true. We will acknowledge your word. We will allow your word. We will accept your word. We will throw away what we know. We will throw away our knowledge. We will throw away our understanding. We will throw away our thought. We will throw away our experience. We will follow your word. We will let you be true. So Peter, he accepted the words of Jesus and throwing away his experience, throwing away his knowledge, throwing away his understanding, throwing away the, 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 the many years of experience that he has had. And then he followed the words of Why? Jesus. Ah, Peter, he accepted the words of Jesus to be true. Ah, Peter, he allowed Jesus to be true. Uh, what I know is not true. What I know is not true. What I know is not true. Because I know myself. I am a liar. I cannot be true. I cannot be genuine. I am a liar. No, many people don't understand their true image. You know, when you read the Bible clearly, when you study the Bible precisely, you will see the image of man. You know, the Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, Chapter 17, verse 9. Let us read the Jeremiah chapter 17. Verse the nine. heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. The heart of man. The heart of man is deceitful above all things. It, it, it doesn't isolate other people. The Bible says the heart is deceitful. The heart of who? The heart of man. Your heart, my heart, is deceitful above all things in the world and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Then it means every time when I follow my own heart, I am deceived. I am deceived by my own heart whenever I follow my own heart. You know, a deceiver is a liar. A deceiver is a liar. So my heart is a big liar than any, any liar in the world. My heart is a big liar. Now all the time, whatever comes out from my own heart is a lie. Whatever comes out of my own heart is a deception. 
But do you know you are hurting this way? Do you know you are hurting this way? Do you understand you are hurt in this way? Ah, many people they think ah we are genuine people. Ah, many people they think we are true people. Because people have not seen their image precisely based on the word of God. People have not seen their image precisely based on the focus of God. People have not seen their image precisely based on the eyes of God. People only know themselves based on their own eyes. People only know themselves based on their own deception. Based on their own lying. But whatever you know about yourself based on your own thoughts is not true. But what God knows about you is true. What God knows about you is true. What God reveals about you is true. Every heart of man is deceitful above all things. And then he says, desperately wicked. Ah, do you know that you are wicked? Do you know that you are wicked? Ah, many people, they don't understand this word. Many people cannot know this word. Ah, we are not wicked people. Ah, we are good people. But Jesus is saying you are wicked. Ah, you brother, you are wicked. Ah, you sister, you are wicked. You are desperately wicked. That is why you only need to establish Jesus Christ. That is why you only need to establish God. That is why you only need to listen to the word of God. That is why you only need to let the word of God be true. Because you, you are wicked. Your heart is wicked. Your heart is deceitful. You know, when you study the image of the heart of man precisely, when you study the image of the heart of man precisely, then you can understand, ah, this is the image of the heart of man. Now let us look at the Bible in the book of Mark. Verse 20 and verse 21. And he said, Whatever comes out of a man, that defiles a man. That is verse 20. Whatever comes out of a man, that defiles a man. Verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. Verse 23, all these evil things come from within and defile a man. A man is defiled by what proceeds out of their own heart. That is what the Bible says. The Bible says that a man is defiled by what proceeds out of their own heart. Because out of your own heart does not proceed the the heart of God that does not produce the, the, the word of God. Only the deception that proceeds out of your heart. The Bible says, whatever proceeds out of your heart is what defiles you. People, they don't know that they are defiled by what comes out of their own heart. Do you know that you are defiled by what comes out of your own heart? Oh, people, they like to blame other people. People, they like to condemn other people. People, they like to point fingers to other people. But the truth is, you are being defiled by whatever comes out of your own heart. That is why, brethren, I want to request you to know your own image. Understand your own image precisely by reading the Word of God. By looking at yourself in the image of the Word of God. By looking at yourself in the mirror of God. And the mirror of God is the word of God. That is why the Bible says, let God be true. Because you are a liar. Every man is a liar. I am a liar. You are a liar. Brother, you are a liar. Sister, you are a liar. We only need to acknowledge God. Let us establish God to be true. Because if we follow our own heart, we will be deceived. If we follow our own heart, only wickedness will proceed out of us. If we follow our own heart, we will defile ourselves. Because we are defiled by what proceeds out of our own heart. That is why today I want to tell you, let God be true. 
Let the word of God be true. Do not follow your own thought. Do not follow your own heart. Listen to what Jesus is saying to you. Listen to what Jesus is speaking to you. Accept the words of Jesus Christ. Like Peter, he accepted the words of Jesus Christ. I launched to the deep for a catch. Our Lord, we toiled the whole night. Our Peter could have stick to his mind. Peter could have stick to his own heart. Our Lord, there's nothing we are going to get. We have been there the whole night. We could not catch anything. Even though all these things were arising from the heart of Peter, uh, Peter, he threw away all this thought. Peter, he threw away all this thought. And then he said, Lord, at your word. Yes, we toiled the whole night. Yes, we struggled the whole night. We did not catch anything. But at your word, we will follow your word. We will let you to be true. We will let your word be true. We will acknowledge you to be true. We will allow you to be true. We will allow you to be true. We will accept you to be true. We will go back to the lake because it is you who has said to us, go back. And when they went back to the lake, they were able to catch many fish. I want to tell you, you who is watching this sermon, I want to tell you, listen to the words of Jesus and believe the words of Jesus. Do not allow your thought to deceive you. Do not allow your own heart to deceive you. Do not allow your feelings to deceive you. Do not allow your emotions to deceive you. Everything that arises from you is not true. Everything that arises from you is a lie. Because your own heart is deceitful. Your own heart is deceitful. Your own heart is a liar. That is why don't trust in your own heart. Don't believe in your own heart. Let God be true. In your life, let God be true. In your family, let God be true. In that business, let God be true. Accept the word of God. Whatever Jesus is saying to you, believe the words of Jesus. Many people today, they confess that they are sinners. Even though Jesus is saying to you, it is finished. And Jesus is confessing at the cross, it is finished. I have finished your sin. Ah, many people, they don't accept the words of Jesus. Many people, they cannot allow God to be true. Even though the Bible says, I have blotted out like a thick cloud your sins, and like a cloud your transgression, return unto me. Many people, they don't accept this. Many people, they don't allow the word of God to be true. Now, they only allow their thoughts to be true. They only allow their feelings to be true. They only allow their emotions to be true. They only allow whatever is arising in them to be true. And then they cannot allow Jesus to be true. And these people continually, they cannot confess that it is finished. The same way Jesus is confessing. But all the time they confess, I am a sinner, I am a sinner. Even though they say they believe in Jesus, but they cannot confess the same confession as Jesus Christ is confessing. Ah, it is finished. They cannot confess because they will not allow the word of God to be true in their life. They will not allow their thought to be true. They are being deceived by their own heart. You know, saying you are a sinner is not humility. You are not humble when you are saying you are a sinner. In fact, you are so arrogant by saying you are a sinner because... By saying you are a sinner, you are despising the works of Jesus Christ. You are despising the accomplished works of Jesus Christ. Oh, many people they say, many people they think when they say, oh, I am a sinner, I only need grace. This is not faith. This is not humility. This is a very serious arrogance. Because you don't believe in Jesus. This, your confession, does not come from Jesus. This, your confession, comes from your own heart. Your own heart is deceiving you all the time. But Jesus accomplished everything at the cross of Calvary. And then he confessed to all of us, it is finished. Will you believe Jesus? I am telling my brother, do not believe in your own heart. But believe in Jesus. Do not believe in your own thought. Believe in Jesus. I want to read the last verse and then I finish. 
In the book of First John chapter 3. And I will read verse 20. Verse 20 the Bible says, For if your heart condemns, for if our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and knows all things. Brethren, the Bible says, if your heart condemns you, always remember, God is greater than your heart. He knows all things. Whenever your heart condemns you, remind your heart. I will not listen to you, my heart. I will listen to God. Because God is greater than you. Ah, my heart, I know you. My heart, I know how deceitful you are. My heart, I know that you want to deceive me. My heart, I know that you want to lie to me. My heart, I know that you want to, to, to lead me astray. I will not listen to you, my heart. I will listen to God. Because God is greater than you, my heart. Oh, my heart, God is greater than you. And God knows all things. I will listen to God. I will not listen to you, my heart. Confess the word of God. Confess God. Speak about God. Do not listen to your heart. Your heart is deceitful. You will be deceived by your heart. Let God be true. Let the word of God be true. Let the accomplished works of Jesus Christ be true. And you will be blessed by the works of Jesus Christ. Like Peter, who received the blessings of Jesus, when he followed the words of Jesus. When you follow the words of Jesus, Indeed, you will be blessed. I want to wind up here for today. I want to, and I want to pray who are together with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for someone who is listening to this sermon. I want to pray that you may bless their life, O oh Lord. As they establish you in their life, O oh Lord. As they establish you as the only truth in their life. As they establish you in their life as the only truth, Jehovah. I pray that you may bless their life. I pray that you may allow your grace to reign in their life. I pray that you may dominate their life, Father. I pray for their families, Lord, that their families may be dominated by your truth, Jehovah. I pray for their businesses, my Father. I pray even for their works, oh Lord. I pray even for their employment, my Father. Even I pray for this entire nation, oh Lord, that you may bless this nation, Father, and accomplish your will in this nation, oh Lord. All things belong to you, Jehovah. Human beings are just but weak vessels, Jehovah. But they can only be they can only experience your greater works in their life. That's why I pray for each and every one, O oh Lord, that you may reign in their life, Jehovah, as they establish you as the only truth in their life. Glory be unto you, Jehovah. As you accomplish many great works in the life of people who believe in you. I trust and believe that many people may testify. That the Lord is good and the Lord is gracious. May you be glorified. May you be exalted. In the name of Jesus I pray and I believe. Brothers, sisters, I want to say thank you very much for having this time. Next time we are going to continue this teaching. Remember, let God be true. Because you are a liar. Your heart is deceitful. Let God be true in everything about your life. Till next time. I don't believe in God, your word.